Why is it always raining? Why? I wanted to film today's video outside, but it's just a river of water. So I guess once again, we're filming inside. Lovely. I just clocked. I need a trim bad. Look at this, I've got curls. Proper like almost bedhead, but I've like washed my hair. I should probably get this sorted tomorrow at some point. But other than my lockdown locks, you want to know about aglet strategies and I've got you covered. My number one tip, and it may seem obvious, is just walk. Walk with your phone in your pocket at all times. And I can hear some of you now crying about the fact that you're in lockdown, you can't go outside, you can't walk, it's raining. Don't care, you got space there. Just walk. And obviously, if you are doing indoor steps and not verified, so say you do a thousand steps, it only counts for hundred steps. It's still hundred steps you didn't have, but you can walk from one window through the house, over here to the other side, to another window. Maybe you just feel like heading into this room, to this window. I'm probably getting verified steps right now, just walking around my house, going from corner to corner, window to window. My GPS will be moving about while I'm taking steps. Probably verified. Granted, if you are on a walk, you do do more steps per hour, but just scrolling about your house, it's, it's no big issue, you're fine. I actually live on a river, look at this. So number one, walk. Number two, dead stock. On this game, dead stock stations are your best friend. Now I actually don't have a dead stock station in my town. My closest one is probably 15 minute drive away maybe closer but it's out of town it's in a village nearby i can't walk there it's down a 60 mile an hour road in fact i'm going to draw something quickly out for you on photoshop and then show you my computer and that'll show you how agla is earned okay so here you have a triangle along the bottom here is your wear percentage so you start here up here so for simplicity's sake this is a shoe with at the start when you purchase it is a 1,000 aglet per 1,000 steps. So when you've worn that shoe down to 50%, this is all the aglet you've earned from the shoe. This is what's left to earn from the shoe. You then wear that same shoe down to 25%. This is how much aglet you've earned. This is what you have left to earn. So if you look at this shoe, it's a triple purple aglet one. This number here is 48, not 1K. Once you're getting down here, you've basically earned most of the aglet available from the shoe so i say once you start getting down to like maybe 20 15 percent you may as well dead stock if it's a gold aglet shoe ignore that burn it all the way down to the ground get your money's worth do you know what i mean it's, you've spent real money on that but if you're playing free to play and this is an aglet one high a triple purple whatever you may as well dead stock at this point because you've got that and it's just probably not worth your time because if you dead stock you're then earning this much per step and you're wasting time here where you could be earning this much because you've then made profit to then buy another pair where you can start earning this much instead of earning this much does that make sense now this tactic here the 25 percent tactic is c's tactic he has a few little strategies for playing aglet so shout out to c on the aglet discord server you may recognize his name spelt out as like cz or something i'm not too sure how you would pronounce it but i asked him and it's pronounced c like s-e-e -E or s-e-a well just let us see to be honest so gold aglet wear that shoe to the ground you've probably spent good hard money on that but for free to play shoes like shoes you've earned in game i'd probably say it's not worth your time using probably the last 15% I'd say Personally other people may have different methods for grinding it, but once you're hitting here the earn rates are Minimal, but I don't have a dead stock station near me. I can hear you crying Well, you have two other options You have aglet sneaker shine or you have the repair stations I don't know for certain but I haven't done too much exploring into the repair stations You may be able to get some of them doing more but as far as I'm aware it's only 10 and 20 percent for repairs which is where being smart with what you're wearing and what you're repairing comes into play using aglet sneaker shine now once again using my high-tech chart here i'm just gonna make this bit a little bit bigger because we're heading up here so you're starting here in your made for walking boots let's say you're bopping about in them on a nice walk and you're just slowly wearing them away down 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 
you hit 60%, you stop. So the made for walking boots, they are a profitable shoe in one wear. So you could wear this all the way down to here, wear it once, not repair it, and you've made profit. Now I'm not gonna give away actual numbers because part of the game is figuring that out for yourself. Although if you don't wanna figure it out for yourself and you just wanna see the raw numbers, there is a link to my Patreon in the description where you can support me making these videos. You get to access everything I know about the game pretty much. Now I'm not gonna do too much of a push on this, but I'm just letting you guys know that it is here. I have my basic spreadsheet, which is basically just, here's a spreadsheet I've made of the name of the shoe, the brand of the shoe, the cost of the shoe, the base earn rates, the durability, tiers and repairs. Is the shoe gold or regular eagle and is the shoe in the current shop? Basically it's just four pound a month and it's more just supporting me. I've got a 10 pound request here where you can message me asking me about a shoe of your choice from each drop. So basically, like I've said here, hi, can you let me know the total possible profit I can earn from the Nike SB Dunk Tiffany, please? So I will let you know what the total possible profit is from a shoe. And then I've limited this to five people. Full spreadsheet access, which is everything that I know about the game and it's all the data you need all the maths is done in there so you just see numbers basically you can sort by what earns the most from one wear from a 100 percent to zero percent possible profit from one wear so that is basically saying without repairing the shoe what can you earn from the shoe and there are some shoes that are possible to profit from from one wear so you don't even need to dead stock or repair the shoe and you have earned aglet and the total possible profit from each shoe using dead stock stations now i'm not going to show you that spreadsheet because obviously it has all the data on it but it's there now back to this chart sorry so let's switch it up you're not wearing the cowboy boots you're wearing the aglet one highs so you're out on a walk wearing your aglet one highs and you wear them down to here 60 percent. and here is where you will use your 40% aglet sneaker shine, which costs you 350 aglet. So if you wear the aglet one high all the way down to 0%, it earns you just over 1,000 aglet profit in one wear. Now the aglet one high OG is actually the fifth most profitable pair of shoes in the aglet store at the moment. So I really would recommend using them if you have a really low budget. That low durability on the pair really helps you grind through because you are earning that aglet fast. Whereas the made for walking boots are a little bit more profitable, but you are spending more time wearing them because the durability is higher. But yeah, back to what I was saying about aglet sneaker signs. So you wear your aglet one highs down here to 60%. You then use your sneaker shine. You've earned this. You then go back up here, use it again at 60%. And you keep bumping it so you wear it then you have one repair bumped up wear it down two repairs and then you burn down through the rest of the shoe now i don't have the actual numbers in front of me but using the aglet one highs i'd say you're probably earning about three thousand aglet more than that probably i don't have the numbers but from this sneaker shine method that's what i would be using personally if i wasn't able to use the de la soul dead stock method now word has got around quite fast through Instagram comments and the Aglet Discord, but the De La Souls are the best shoes to be wearing at the moment. In the last shop, the Belugas were great, but my, these De La Souls are insane. Wear them. If you can get them, wear them. Now, if you can't afford the De La Souls, totally understandable. Some people don't have that much Aglet. You may just be starting out and you're watching this video to find out how to play the game efficiently, let's say. I'd recommend wearing the made for walking cowboy boots. Now, if you can't afford them, I'd be recommending dead stocking the Aglet One Highs at probably about 15 to 20%. All those three shoes, great for dead stocking. Now say you can't access a dead stock station. The Aglet One High with sneaker shines at 60%, is what you want to be doing that is the best way to be making profit if you don't have a dead stock station thankfully although i don't have one in my town i can drive to one quite easily so i am using the de la souls at the moment although the de la souls are relatively limited at 550 pairs we're probably into like near 150 now to be honest so i'd recommend buy them wear them they are the most profitable pair you can have on aglet at the moment as long as you have a dead stock station now say you don't want to spend your money on sneaker shine totally understandable you don't want to spend your hard-earned aglet to then earn more aglet you may not know the math so you don't trust it that's fine the aglet one high you can make profit on it in one wear if you don't believe me test it out for yourself just go out for a walk you'll see now that is all for today's video it's not been too great i've not been able to go outside as you can see 
I did want to film this outside, but the weather isn't great. What can you do? So I've had to play about on my computer showing you that triangle and not been getting steps in. Well, I've been getting steps in, obviously I've been walking about like this, but I haven't been able to get the verified steps, which earns you obviously aggle it 10 times as fast, but also wears your shoes down 10 times as fast. Your durability is not tied two steps taken it's to aglet earned now i know some of you've been pining for a video so here you go here's some tips and i've got a new video coming very very soon explaining something that i'm sure you'll be very interested in all right i'll see you in a bit peace